Welcome back everyone, this is GTA Failure. A few videos ago, I revisited Taxi Driver with the goal of doing 100 consecutive drop-offs. When I tried Taxi Driver in Portland in a regular taxi, the Mafia shot my car enough to make it catch on fire almost immediately. In this video, I'm going to try to do the other three R3 missions, that is Firefighter, Paramedic, and Vigilante, right here in Portland after the Mafia is mad at Claude. So this first attempt went about as expected. In my second attempt, I did a cut. I'm just headed towards this fire right here in Chinatown. And I'm doing my best to avoid uh, St. Mark's area as much as possible. But I think that uh, I did take a shot from a Mafia shotgun on my way to Chinatown. And then, of course, the triads are shooting at me. And all of this adds up to uh, my HP getting to zero. I've only put out one fire. And uh, just like that. I am myself on fire and in need of a fire truck. Is it possible to survive uh, putting out 20 fires during Firefighter in Portland after the Mafia is mad at you? Absolutely. But I don't believe you can do them consecutively without using cheats. I think any trip into St. Mark's has a decent chance of having your fire truck explode from Mafia shotguns. So you could do Firefighter provided you reject any fire that's in St. Mark's and you avoid traveling through St. Mark's. So it'd be a lot of starting and stopping, but it's possible to do Firefighter after the Mafia is mad at you. I don't know why you'd wait until the Mafia is mad at you, but it's possible. So next up is Paramedic. I'm just starting off at level one in this clip and I'm avoiding St. Mark's as much as possible. But even this major road that we're on right here has some Mafia and some triads on it. And so does this road here. I probably should have taken the Bribe, um, bribe Star Alley instead of that road. And just like that, a level one fail, zero people saved. Here's attempt number two. Again, I'm just starting off in level one and uh, trying to avoid any uh, mafia territory, but it's tough. Uh, mafia territory is, is quite a large percentage of the map and a ton of the spawns, the random spawns on paramedics show up in uh, mafia territory. So here we go, heading towards the blue marker, dropping off patient number one of 78. We are so close, so close, and kaboom, zero patients dropped off. Okay, so on this attempt, I repeatedly restarted paramedic until I got my first patient to be not anywhere near St. Mark's. Uh, so here I am on my way back, about to drop off that first patient. Let's go. Uh, and you can see I took the bribe star alley instead of my standard way to get back to the hospital. Okay. Paramedic level one complete. Awesome. 12th of the way there. Uh, let's see here. Again, I should have avoided this road. I should just turn around and head to the Bribe Star Alley. This road equals pain. All right. I'm dead again, but we're improving. Zero patient to one patient. Okay, here was my best attempt. And on the first uh, three levels, none of the patients were anywhere near St. Mark's, which is just luck. Here I am on my... Um, uh, level four, I've already dropped off the first two patients. See, I'm on fire here before I even rolled, like I did roll, but I was already on fire. I was trying to get a sneaky back way to get to that one patient in St. Mark's, but my uh, ambulance was almost at uh, an uh, HP level of zero, even before um, I got to that patient in St. Mark's. Okay, so I had one idea on how to use a glitch to pass Portland Paramedic with the Mafia hostile to Claude, and I tried it, and it didn't work. I don't know if you saw what I just did there, but we've done... Uh, the taxi glitch where you can do taxi in any vehicle. At least I thought you could. Take a look here. I'm going to get in and I can't even start taxi. In the top left corner, it should say hit and unlock to start taxi driver. And here's a fresh taxi, not even the one I used to try to start the glitch. And this one will also not allow me to do taxi. It seems like I've broken taxi by trying to do this glitch. Uh, so remember, the glitch is you get in a taxi or a cabbie and you simultaneously hold the mission start button and the look backwards button. Then you get out of the taxi and into the vehicle that you want to uh, use for taxi driver. And, uh, and then you release uh, both of those buttons and then you can do taxi driver in any vehicle. But no, here I'm holding on to paramedic and then I'm going to release paramedic. And look, I'm, I'm going to do paramedic in a taxi, which I didn't know was possible. And it turns out it isn't. I didn't end this mission. It just ended. Like I got it started. I was all excited. Uh, but it didn't work. Um, and uh, here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm trying to start uh, Vigilante. I'm holding on to Vigilante right now. I'm trying to start Vigilante in any other vehicle. So whatever the first one is that comes along, that'll be the winner. The camera is reversed, which is why I'm kind of hopping around and I've got a funny camera angle. And here, can I start Vigilante? No, I get the Vigilante ended immediately. Again, I didn't do that. I was just trying to start Vigilante. Okay, my last idea for making a no-collision ambulance is to try the crusher trick, but with the uh, paramedic active instead of with taxi driver active. So I've got a patient here in the front passenger seat, and I'm going to uh, hold the uh, look behind button and get out, and then I'm going to spam the get back in key, 
and it doesn't work. I, I think I needed the uh, patient to stay in the uh, ambulance so that I could yank him out even as he was like five or six feet off the ground, but it didn't work. Um, so I, I don't think it's possible to do uh, paramedic, uh, 12 levels of paramedic in Portland with the mafia mad at you. I, I just don't see how it's possible. Even with very defensive driving and kind of uh, minimizing the time you spend in St. Mark's, I just, I don't see how you could do it. Okay, uh, so the last thing uh, we're doing here is uh, vigilante. So here we are um, in an FBI car um, trying to do vigilante. I'm actually trying to increase my wanted level to two here, uh, just so I can show you that I've already done a vigilante kill and I'm, uh, I have a vigilante active right now and I can pay and spray and not only uh, repair my FBI car, but look at those wanted stars disappear. So yeah, the FBI car seems like a good choice for doing vigilante uh, because um, it's reasonably fast, uh, but you can pay and spray it, which again, repairs the health and re gets rid of your wanted level. And you can't pay and spray the police car. You can't pay and spray the enforcer. You can't pay and spray the tank. Here I am going through St. Mark's. This is a bad idea, uh, no matter how you slice it. Not going to end well for GTA failure. I'm getting shot at at point blank range. All right, one criminal killed with the FBI car. Take a look at the time here, a minute 50. So I'm starting this, this uh, vigilante here, uh, leaving Portland docks with a tank with a minute 50 on the clock. Seems like plenty of time. Okay, uh, so uh, I'll, I'll point out that the FBI car is not as good as I thought it was going to be. Um, it isn't as fast as the police car, and it's also more prone to rolling than the police car. So I don't like it. Um, I, I think just the police car is, uh, is better than the FBI car, which is surprising. I thought it would be the other way around. Okay, uh, so uh, you might think that the tank is the way to go in terms of vigilante after the mafia is mad at you, but, um, you know, uh, because the tank is pretty much invincible, including to the uh, shotguns from the mafia. But let me tell you, uh, after recording footage for this video, I can tell you that the tank sucks for vigilante. It, it, I, I'm sure it sucks on every island. Look how close I was there. But it's going to be a long time before I get close again. <laughs> I'm turning my turret around. He's too far away, but firing the turret in this direction slows me way down. Um, the tank is just too slow. It takes uh, way too long to accelerate up to any kind of chasing speed, and it also takes way too long to turn any corner. And if you point your turret behind you to speed up, which I've done a lot of the time here, then your wanted stars increase quite rapidly. I had no wanted stars at the start. Now we're up to three, and it's going to keep increasing. And so uh, because of all the wanted stars, you got... Uh, Tons of police and army vehicles harassing you, including other tanks, eventually. None of the police or army vehicles actually poses a threat to your tank, but bumping into any vehicle or light pole or tree can easily change your direction of travel or stop you dead in your tracks. There's five stars. Uh, and because the acceleration of your tank is so poor, it takes a long time to get back up to speed and char start chasing the criminal again. So, like, I had a lot of time issues here. Like, my tank is overpowered. Like, I'm not going to die. But look, two seconds, one second, and with zeros on the clock, I got my first kill. That took a minute 50 to get that kill. So I'm going to quadruple speed a lot of this attempt. Um, and uh, and I'll say that uh, that I, uh, like, can you survive uh, 20 vigilante kills here in Portland after the Mafia is mad at you? Sure, you could survive in the police car. You don't need a tank. Um, but you do need to avoid St. Mark's. Uh, just don't ever go to St. Mark's. So that means... Uh, you know, like uh, abandoning a bunch of vigilante anytime the criminal is in or near St. Mark's. And then you just uh, restart vigilante right away and you just keep going. And it'll take a long time because of the starting and stopping. But yeah, you could absolutely do it uh, while the mafia is mad at you, but I don't know why you would. It's just so much easier to do all of the side missions here in Portland before the mafia is mad at you. And that's what we did in this video series. Okay, so three kills done. Um, I'll tell you that uh, in this particular attempt, I tried my hardest to get a, uh, a big streak. I take a look at the criminal here in the Diablo Stallion. He's going to smack into another tank and not explode. What is that? Like he hit it hard enough to explode. Did they not explode when they hit another tank? This is not behavior I was familiar with. Uh, another danger with uh, the tank is that you can get pulled out, like if you're stopped. So I've got all these gangs mad at me. The... Uh, the Diablos and the Mafia, obviously, and the Triads, and any of them can pull me out of the tank. Now, unlike uh, taxi driver and paramedic, um, getting pulled out of your tank, getting pulled out during vigilante is not instant mission fail, right? You have uh, uh, a minute to get back into a police vehicle um, in, in order to not uh, have vigilante end. Take a look at the clock here, 319. And now 158, that's not how a vigilante timer works. You're supposed to have whatever time you had banked 
plus some additional time for the next criminal that they just spawned on the map. The time should go up every time you kill a criminal. But here, not only did they give me no bonus time, they, like, I, I think that the whatever uh, was on the clock there at the start of this criminal, like 159, I, whatever, like, I think that was what they intended to give me for this criminal, but they didn't add it to the 319 that I already had on the clock. They just replaced my 319 with the 159. Bogus. This whole thing is bogus. Okay, so I will tell you that uh, the five criminals that I killed is all I'm going to get to. Uh, you can just see time ticking away. I'm going to run out of time on the sixth criminal. I am trying my hardest to maneuver this stupid slow tank around these other big stupid slow tanks and it's not going well for me. Uh, so um, it, it typically when I do um, vigilante here on Portland before the mafia are mad at me using uh, a police car and just Uzi ammo for drive-bys. Uh, it takes me about 20 minutes to do the 20 kills on this island. Uh, but here in this particular clip, I did five kills in nine minutes. So at this same rate, uh, it would take me uh, 36 minutes to do 20 kills. Again, it takes me 20 minutes normally with my police car, but this tank would uh, make it 36 minutes, almost twice as long. Screw this tank. Screw Vigilante. I hate Vigilante. Have I said that before? I just find it uh, so frustrating. Like, it's it's the most frustrating R3 mission for me, and it's not close. Like, it's more frustrating than 12 levels of paramedic. It's it's more frustrating than 100 taxi drop-offs, which is kind of boring, but, like, it's not frustrating. Like, the Vigilante is just frustrating. I find it more frustrating than 60 uh, fires. Um, it's it's it, Vigilante is worse than all three of the other R3 missions combined for me, honestly. Um, I think I've already ranted about uh, Vigilante, like when I did the official Vigilante stuff early in this video series, but I hate it. Hate it so much. Hasn't cha changed with the FBI car or the tank. And here we just uh, ran out of time. Five criminals done and a six star wanted level two contend with. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you real soon.